Welcome back to the tea of the day. Today I have one from Totem Teas. This is their soothing Ayurvedic cinnamon and licorice tea. But that's not all that's in it. It's got a lot of things, including apple. It's got the cinnamon sticks, hibiscus, blackberry leaves, ginger, balm. Balm? Was it lemon balm? Uh, they just say balm. <laughs> uh, licorice root, orange peel, fennel, ca chamomile, clove, black pepper, cardamom, St. John's wort, and hop petals. Whew. All right, let's uh, give this thing a shot and see what it's like. Hmm. All right, okay. Yeah, this is uh, a very good blend. I mean, considering how many things I just listed off that are in this, um, there's nothing in particular that's sticking out more than other anything else. I'd say the apple and the cinnamon are the most notable off the top, but I mean, if you really look at, uh, get into it, you can feel the other ones that are there. But it's nothing, nothing is really sticking out, in, for which is good for a couple of reasons. For one, it's not making you go, oh, because any one of these things is not blended properly. And um, it's just very, like they said, soothing and very smooth. It's a nice, easy drinking tea. I could just down this thing right away because it's that good. But uh, the main thing I want to talk about today is licorice root, okay? And I talked about this a little bit like in my last video. There are so many things that licorice root does. Um, it's a mild laxative. Um, that's not necessarily a good benefit for some people, but <laughs> depending on where you're at. But it's an antispasmodic, anti-inflammatory. It helps with depression. Uh, it's, apparently it's supposed to help uh, your liver uh, because it can neutralize various uh, disorders that are in there. Um, so it can help with liver, liver problems, including hepatitis. Um, it's supposed to, in the same way, help with stomach issues because it's supposed to help protect and strengthen the stomach lining. It's supposed to help with low blood pressure. Um, I know uh, women will be a big fan of this one when they're having their menstrual problems because it's really good for menopause and for cramps. Um, it's good for peptic ulcers, dyspepsia, coral... Medical terms, you gotta love them. Colorectal cancer bronchitis um, because it's an expectorant and it's supposed to help get that stuff that's stuck in there out. Um, canker sores is supposed to help you fight plaque. Come on, fight that plaque! Fight that plaque! Scary monsters don't have plaque! No, not that kind of plaque. It's supposed to help fight plaque that's in your blood vessels. Am I missing anything? My god, there's so many things. I mean, I had to write a list down because it's just, again, so many wonderful things! It's amazing. These a lot of these things happen because of the glycerizing. Not sure if I'm saying that again. Medical terms, so crazy. Uh, but it uh, it helps uh, with a lot of a lot of these things that you're, we've been talking about here, and it's the primary cause of these uh, health benefits. But man, licorice root, good stuff. The downside is that uh, apparently if you have too much of it, it can be bad for a few things. If you have too much, it can uh, cause fatigue, headaches, um, fluid retention. Uh, particularly, some people said they can have swelling like in the ankles, edema, things like that, high blood pressure, and even some muscle soreness or cramping. But again, like with most teas, it takes a truckload of it to make this happen. And they say you have to have at least three cups of it a day on a consistent basis for you to be able to reach this level. I mean, so it's a good amount. Plus, they, they say the actual dosage limit per day, I believe, is like you know, 15 grams of licorice root. So, I mean, unless you're taking some pills of this or something, it's going to be hard for you to reach this limit, especially if you're just having it in a tea. You're not going to get 15 grams of it a day <laughs> having uh, just three cups of tea, probably. But even then, you know, your most tea drinkers will go and spread it out. So, probably not going to have these problems unless you're really sensitive to it. So, just know that they're out there and there are some possible side effects if you overload on it. Okay, just take it easy, and licorice root's gonna be great for you. Yay! But that's it for me. I'm gonna finish off the rest of this tea. And I'm gonna wish you all a great tea day. Take care.